Alright guys, it's Charlie Tango1994 back with another YouTube video. Over the last few months, we've been looking at a number of brand new CB radios from a number of different companies that are available to buy today over the counter or more likely available to purchase online. In the final radio of my selected dual band radios, and again, we return to the stable of new products released by Midland. Earlier in this series, we looked at the Midland M Mini and today it is the turn of the Midland M20. Straight off the bat, I was impressed by the general look of this little rig. I would say it's the best looking rig of all of the radios we've reviewed in this series. But in terms of the price, the Midland M20 retails at over £100, so it's the most expensive of the radios we've looked at. It's also true to say that the M20 isn't the top of the range, and its bigger brother, the Midland M30, sells for a few pounds more. I opted to review the M20 over the M30 only because I felt it was more likely to be in more people's budget than the more expensive M30. The M20 is a cracking looking rig and its build quality is phenomenal compared to some of the other rigs we've reviewed. It's a very up to date look with a nice LED display and a full set of modern features. One of the most unusual features on the M20 is the addition of a USB port something I've not seen on a CB radio before. Taking a closer look at the radio, there are four push button controls, two small dials and a larger channel selector on the right. Below the mic socket is the USB socket we mentioned before and on the right of the radio are the twin sockets for alternative Midland accessories. Powering on the Midland M20 is done with the right hand pot which also functions as your volume control. To the left of that is the squelch control, which also gives you access to automatic or digital squelch by turning the dial fully to the left until you hear a click. Changing channel is done using the large channel selector on the right of the radio, as well as by using the up down buttons on the mic, which we will take a look at in a moment. The push buttons include the EMG button, which automatically selects channel 9. Next to that is the AM FM switch, which in the UK norm selects either the UK channels or the European channels, and in other norms will select AM or FM. On the other side of the radio are the filter button, which activates the automatic noise limiter and noise blanker, and when long pressed, activates the scan mode. On the mic, we see the up down buttons we mentioned earlier, as well as a PRI or PRI button, which stands for primary, which by default is set to the calling channel, meaning you get back to channel 19 with a single key press. The primary channel feature can be adjusted by long pressing the button and selecting your chosen primary channel. The final button on the M20 is the audio button, which switches you from the standard mic to an external mic, like the Midland dongle mic or dual mic, we came across when we reviewed the Midland M Mini. The WA dongle enables Bluetooth connectivity with the wire-free mic giving a better range than its cabled counterpart. Short pressing the audio button also mutes the speaker. The Bluetooth capability naturally adds to the overall cost of the Midland M20, which as we've said, ain't cheap, but add to that the cost of the WA dongle and Bluetooth mic and you're looking at a whacking investment of well over £200, which may be a bit strong for some. As well as the additional sockets on the front of the radio, there is the USB socket. Initially, I wasn't sure what this was for, but what the Midland M20 gives you is a charging port for any of your mobile devices or batteries that might need to be charged whilst you drive, which considering the plethora of rechargeable gadgets we tend to use, could be a handy little feature. Out of the box, the Midland M20 comes in the EU norm, but this can be changed by holding down the filter and audio buttons whilst turning the radio on. This then gives you access to one of nine norms, including Italy, Germany, EU, SEPT, Spain, France and the UK. I love the looks of the Midland M20 and think it is by far the best looking radio out there at the moment. The build quality also is exceptional, with good sturdy controls and a high quality feel. 
add to that the general aesthetics of the radio and the high quality finish and I do think the Midland M20 deserves its price tag. The Bluetooth option will be valuable to some but with the need for additional accessories it does add to the overall cost of the radio which for the same kind of money could easily get you a good quality multi-mode radio with its additional power and modes. The USB port also is a nice addition and could be very convenient for a lot of uses. It's fair to say that if you want more, you pay more and certainly the Midland M20 is a high quality choice compared to the other radios we've looked at in the series. If you are looking for a modern looking, well designed and built CB radio with truly 21st century features and your budget can stretch to it, then the Midland M20 is the radio for you. Next time, we'll switch our attention to the sideband radios that are available to buy in 2020 and I'll see you again in my next YouTube video. 7 threes.